Hello, you got Nate with Long Range X. <clears throat> I've been asked by three different people to do this video today, so I thought I'd whip this one out really quick. But uh, um, this is my thoughts on the 33 Nosler. The 338 Lapua held king of the 338s for a really long time due to accuracy and how fast it pushed the bullet and the high BCs that they were pushing out of the 338s. Because at the time before bullet technology, the 338 caliber bullets and their high BCs is what made the long range kings of the cartridges. As time goes on and we're seeing um, almost 800 BCs and seven mm, you know, caliber bullets and projectiles, the 338s are slowly getting pushed out. You know, the the 300 PRC hit the floor and the 338s kind of lost fame. Um, the 28 Nosler hit the floor and a lot of these bigger 338s lost fame because you're paying for, you're paying for brass and you're paying for bullets. And it all starts to add up more and more money in anymore you're not getting the performance that you did 10 15 years ago all that stated the in my opinion the 33 nosler has never gotten as famous as it should have if if i was going to build a 338 caliber rifle tomorrow or have one built um it would be in a 33 nosler you're getting a little bit better speed, which some argue with, but you're getting better speed than a 338 Lapua. And you're doing it on a normal Magnum bolt face instead of doing a 585 bolt face. So for me, you could uh, lose a little bit of weight and not have to do a big massive hunt on which action to use or buy a special action like um, the Stiller TAC 338 and spend 14, 1500 bucks just on an action to do it. You could just find a donor Remington or something like that. I don't know why the 33 Nosler didn't get more popular, but it does seem like a dying cartridge and I wish it wasn't. I'm seeing a huge influx of 338 edges. And another one that I've been looking at is uh, Hunt the Distance sells uh, 338 Lapua Ackley Improves. And that is a really nice 338. I mean, it's got all the speed that you really need for pushing a projectile of, all, of 300 grains. <clears throat> Personally, I think that we're going to see slowly but surely all the 338s start to die out. And I hate to say this, but 50% um, of the people with 338 Lapuas don't know how to shoot them. I, I would say that 35% of people with 338 Lapuas have three to nine Bushnell scopes on them. It's just the Lapua name that sold the rifle. And unfortunately, we'll never get there with the 33 Nosler. Or the 338 Lapua actually improved. You know, it's it you get to where it's harder to get brass for those cartridges. But if you're already paying to play and putting that much money into a 338, why not do it right? Something that gets thrown out there a lot is uh and and you hear this enough, it, it starts to get annoying. But they say, well, the military uses it. That you know the 338 Lapua, the military uses it. It's a military sniper rifle. And well, so is the 308 for a million years. But uh, we've got cartridges that beat it now. I don't care who uses it. And uh, gonna get some hate on my comments from the comment warriors on this. But the 308's old news. There's a million short action cartridges that beat its pants off. And. Uh, that's okay, that's a good change, but when it comes to changing from that 338 Lapua, now we're different. You know, that's not okay, and I don't I don't understand the reasoning there. So to sum up my video, to make it sweeter on my thoughts on the 33 Nosler, you have amazing speeds 
for the 338 caliber bullets. You can you can do it in a normal magnum action without going to the 585 bolt face. And uh, to top it off, I think that you're going to see better pressures because of case design than you will with a Lapua. Probably get into a rifle that's lighter weight if you're if you're backcountry hunting or using it as an honest hunting rifle. So that's my summed up opinion. If I haven't played with the the 338s for quite a while, I've had a couple of Lapuas, but in uh, 338 Win Mag, of course, and 340 Weatherby, but uh, I haven't done much with the 338 the 338s for a while. I find that the for what I do, for what I do, the performance you gain isn't really worth the price of 338 caliber bullets, and it isn't worth 338 recoil. You know, from zero to a thousand yards, the 28 nozzler or a decent size 300 will do anything I need it to do, or even a 7 mag for what I'm doing. But again, I think the 33 Nosler is very overlooked for what it is. I'm surprised that more people haven't ran out there and had custom builds done off of it. I am shocked at the lack of um, following it has in factory rifles for what it is. But we've always seen, we've always seen this um, cartridges sometimes come in too early for their time. And sometimes cartridges come in too late for their time. And it's not that they're a bad cartridge. It's just that they fall into the deck and they fall right into the middle of the deck because of the timing that they were released. And that's just the way it is, unfortunately. You know, um, not bad mouth in the 6.5 Creed, but look at the 260. The 260 Remington was out for years and uh, the difference between it and the Creed are... Nil to none. And I know somebody's going to say, well, you know, case overall, length, this, that. Well, getting down nitty gritty, it's nil to none. So we we get into the back and forth, and today's new cartridge is better. And, well, today's new cartridge is okay, but this rifle company already makes this cartridge, you know. And uh, I, I think that uh, it's killed off a lot of our good cartridges just from the timing that they were released. So, if you haven't yet, go look at the ballistics of a three, uh, 33 Nosler. If you're looking into a 338 build, that's probably what I would go with. It, or step up and get the 338 Lapua Ackley improved and be done with it. But uh, that's my total summed up thoughts on the 338s in general, really. But all that being said, my name's Nate with Long Range X. Thank you for subscribing. If there's any future videos you'd like to see, um, let me know. Please like and subscribe, and God bless America.